Hurry up, hurry up. We, no, we just had to make a quick pit stop. About 20 minutes away. We're still a few hours away. Hey, you know if you pull on it more than three times, it's considered jerking off. There's a key in the garage. There's a coffee tin with Max on it. Alright. Okay, got it. Yeah. Sounds good. about it. Sorry. Sorry, Carrie. It's cool. So, um, how did he die if you don't mind my asking? They don't know exactly. He fell into a coma and he didn't come out of it. So what, he just died? He was on life support for three years. The hospital bills were stacking up and my father had to take a second mortgage on the house. That ran out. He almost went broke, so he died. How come I never knew this before? She doesn't talk about it much. Anyway, he collapsed at the cabin. That's why Carrie doesn't like to go up there anymore. Then why are we going? For some abundant water. This place is amazing. You know what? It's cool. It just makes me sad. I still miss him. Yeah. Well, you know, there's worse ways to die than in a coma, you know. I mean, at least he went peacefully. Hey, did I ever meet your brother? Probably not. He was away on a hockey scholarship for like three years. No way, was he any good? Highest goal scorer in the history of the Langley Hornets. Hang tight, I'll grab the key. Cool. Okay, got it. Sweet. This is nice. Check that out. You've seen that view before. Yeah, that's right. Not since high school, Mansbridge. And it's a lot more developed since your last visit. Feels like we stepped into a time warp. It looks like it's been deserted. It smells. <sighs> well, let's set up camp. Open up a window and air the place out.
Get a room. We're in one. Can you close that? Carmen is a fling that never meant anything. It's okay for you to cheat and bad for me to flirt? Ha, so you admit it. I wanted you to have a taste of what it felt like. I turned him down for your information. Trying hard to make this work. That's why we need to get out of the city, away from the rat race, so quality time together. I agree. We haven't had much time for just us. We should go for a swim. No, that water's cold, dude. Really? How cold? What are you two troublemakers doing out here? We were just thinking about how nice and quiet it was before you showed up. Fight me. <laughs> I would love to. What time did the others say they were going to get here? Probably a few hours. Well, we'll definitely need some food by then. Oh, I think they're stopping at the market before they get here anyways. Relax, little mommy, you'll survive. I got a ton of protein <laughs> stored up. <laughs> Back to high school. <laughs> Ow. Easy there, boys. Maybe some other women here soon. Plan? <laughs> Let's go for a walk or something. Not me. I don't move when I'm baked. Yeah, me neither. That drive wore me out. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go for a walk. I'll see you guys in an hour or two. Don't do anything I want to do. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> just give me that. Oh, oh yeah. What? Just that shit. Just that shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Just a can. It's windy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how isolated we are. I love it. I can actually hear myself thinking. <laughs> Kiss me. What is it? It's nothing. Just a bird or something. Terry's sneaking up on us again. He's such a perv. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you wanna head back? Okay. Oh, hey, Sky, that was inches away. Yeah, that's what your last girlfriend told you. Oh, don't confuse your sexual escapades with mine. I'm sure you shot, Vic. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, the others are here. You guys, what, they've been dating for like three months. They have a right. Hey, Romeo, a little help? Oh, my God. I guess cleaning up would be the first thing. Hey, it looks like the others finally arrived. Oh, good. That means the booze is finally here. <laughs> oh, I love you, babe. Do you know how long I've been waiting to hear that? Three months? My whole life. At least for someone to finally mean it. Oh, what the fuck? It's right on the lake. Don't worry, I'll get you close to this dirt. Oh, please. And here we are. Okay. 
They're cool. I want to introduce you. <laughs> yes, you made it. Of course. After you sent the pictures, how could I resist? Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Mm, this is my girlfriend, Cleo. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Hi. to meet you. James. Hi, Gary. Hey. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Cleo. Hey. Hi. Nice to meet you. Beautiful place. Thanks. It's my parents. Um, Come in. I'll show you to your room. You stealing my shot? Oh, <laughs> lucky you were drinking there. Hey, just in time, we just cracked the bottle. Hey, Mish. Hey. It's good to see you. Oh. Yeah, likewise. How are you? Fine, you? Great, thanks. Yeah, it's beautiful up here, huh? Yeah, it sure is. Nigel, Michelle, this is my cousin James and his girlfriend Clea. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Michelle. James. And, Hi, and James. Terry. Terry's. And Clea? Nigel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. James, this is Terry. You want a drink? <sighs> Love one. Yeah? Yeah. Beer's okay? Mm. Cool. Clea? Wine for you? Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, gorgeous. Nice throw. Mind if I try? Go for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. Oh! oh shots, oh. shots. Bring out another shot glass. Screw that, man. Get your own. Oh, that's it. You're dead doing the house. Shit! Shit! Oh. Cousin's friends all seem nice. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Young, but cool. <laughs> well, you should fit right in then. Oh, yeah. You know me, big kid at heart. You guys ready? Ready to see the river? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! That works. That works. Full house. Trish. It's dark out and they're still not back yet. I mean, doesn't that seem strange to you guys? Yeah, they should have been back by now. They're newlyweds. Yeah, my boy Cole's probably getting a little e -e 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 action in the woods. Oh, God. Holy How many articles this round? I'm thinking three. Three? Three! Fuck you! I uh, only have two left. Exactly. Okay, well, yeah, you two and Nigel. Nigel, like, Nigel, like, is Yeah, I don't count a four. Okay, two articles. Let's go, let's go. All right, uh, let's see you flop. Oh! Hey, I'm saying, pair of threes. You're naked! Yeah, I got two articles! Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, yes. Stop. Let's see those. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I really can't play anymore. What? No, 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 yeah, you can. No, I'm seriously worried about Cole and Trish. They should have come back by now. It's so late. She's right. We should go look for them. No, 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 no. no. She's about to get in her birthday suit right no, now. No, no, no. It's cool. Like, you guys should go look for Cole and Trish. Be a lot cooler if you're naked. She yeah. wants to come with? Yeah, I'll come. No, no, no. You girls relax. It's dark outside. You know, we wouldn't want you to break a nail or heel or something. Yeah, exactly. Don't get lost. Yeah, we know how you guys are with directional sins. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Just remember your ass is behind you, not in front. Gary, <laughs> when I come back, you are so naked. Yeah, don't worry. We'll find them. We'll do a thorough search. Oh. Nice one, Nige. 
Girls are right, though. They've been going way too long. Yeah, but five more minutes wouldn't have killed anyone. Carrie would have been naked, then we could have left. No shit, I was gonna suck on those things tonight, man. <laughs> Sorry, you're right, guys. Next time. You really shit the bed on that one, Nige. Oh, those are some sweet ass titties, though, huh? Dude. Dude. Start that bad engine. <laughs> <laughs> cool. cool. Trisha! Yeah. Trisha! Yeah. Trisha! Cool. Where are you guys? Trisha! Yeah. No more fucking in the trees. Cool. Find them? No. Yeah? No. Trisha! Cool! Trisha! Trisha! Shit, I gotta take a piss. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, what? What? Oh, what? 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 Dude, who the fuck are you? Hey, uh, I'm a little lost. Uh, where am I? It's, uh, Logan Lake. Uh, Logan Lake? Where is that? Dude, have you, uh, have you seen our friends anywhere? Friends? <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. This guy's fucking blitzed out of his mind. You fucking wasted, bro? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, fuck! Oh, oh. Oh shit! What the fuck? He's having a seizure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, man. Hey, you, you okay? Right? You okay? Hey. Oh my god, hold on. Nice little touch. I got this. I got this. Yeah. Grab his leg, guys. Grab his leg. Grab the leg. Yeah. Grab his fucking legs. Oh, man, it fucking smells like piss. Oh, 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 Sorry, my arm was sore. Ah! Look, we found him in the woods. He was pretty messed up. So you brought him here? The dude was fucking lost in the woods. That's Carrie's brother. The dead one? Really? Uh -huh. He's just standing in the woods. Oh my box. god. Relax, he's clean. He's just lost. How do you know? Did you check? No, not really, actually. Oh my god. You're dead. Ah! Oh, geez. Ah, geez. What oh. is happening? I'm not sure. You want some water or something? No, fine. You okay? You good. Yeah, he's your bathroom. It's right over there. What the hell are you guys doing bringing him back here? It's my brother. Like him. Maybe he's got a twin. Or maybe your dad, like, banged some other chick and never told you that you have another chick. Oh, hello. All the more reason to. Yeah, but I think a lot clearer on my eyes. Right, like the time when my house was and I was going to be naked. <laughs> See, these people, they were sick or comatose from one disease or another, and the townsfolk, they think they were dead. But days later, they wake up in their graves. Fucking freaking out. Freaking <laughs> out, right? So they started burying people in these graves with these fucking bells in case they woke up. They could just ding, 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 ding. Hey, guys, I'm on. They really did that. Oh, fuck yeah, they really Hell did that. Yeah. It was common back in those days, huh, guys, right? That would barely happen now. I don't know about that one. Okay, you're not digging the doppelganger theory, okay? How about we do this? We'll get him really, really high and he can just fucking tell us where he came from. <laughs> Better than truth theory. Bailey, shut it! These are good ideas. <laughs> He's dead. He's fucking dead. He's not a fucking doppelganger, okay? There was no bell in his grave. He's dead! Dead, 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 okay? Do you guys hear me? Fuck, he's dead! He's dead! out. This is weird. Let's just show him the door. You know what? That's a good idea. Then we get back to playing strip poker, yeah. huh? Fuck the game, okay? We have a slight issue at hand. I know you want to finish your heart on, but put a lid on it for a few seconds. Oh, sorry, Michelle. Sorry, guys. You know, I'm being such a prick right now. It's 
Let's fucking ask the new guy if he wants to play. <laughs> <laughs> So where we brought him back here? It's fucking Nidal's idea to bring him here anyway. That's the last stairs. Oh, sorry about that. I have these painful headaches. It's all right. Try not to move. Ryan, do you remember anything? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Woke up in a field of the dead, and that's all I remember. Now I'm here. Field of the dead is a cemetery, right? Yeah. Where was this field of the dead? I'm not sure. Is it called West Point? I don't know. It's dark. I was running. No, it wasn't me. It was someone else. It was a fight. That's all I remember. Who were you fighting with? Do you remember? We heard screaming. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Carrie's brother just showed up and he's tired, so we're just seeing him to bed. Is he gonna be okay? Yeah, I just lost a little bit of memory, I think. Was he in a car accident? You know, we're not actually sure. He's, he's not even really supposed to be here, so we're all a little perplexed right now. He lost me. He was in an accident or he wasn't supposed to come to the cabin? He's supposed to be dead and he just showed up, so you do the math. Oh. Ryan, you want a drink? Bailey! You know, I think I should go. No way. You can't go anywhere. You don't look well. She's right. Yeah, yeah, man. It's only 9 o'clock. We still got more drinking games to play. Uh, yeah. No, I think I should go to be safer. You should rest. Uh, Albert, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just be downstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Go. Okay. Yeah, go. Yeah, go. Okay. Go. yeah right. It's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Sorry, I don't remember much. It's okay. It's fine. You're safe now, so just don't rest. Mish, give me a sec with him. Okay. Sorry, I'm quite warm as it is. Are you sure you feel cold? No, warm on the inside. Just really tired. Really, really tired.
What's the matter? Hmm? You were acting strange all night. You enjoyed that game a little too much. I was having fun. It's just a game, for Christ's sake. You like taking your clothes off. I did not. I was, it was my first time playing. What should I have done? I was losing. Ask me to help you? Yeah, well, you were losing too. So I thought I'd just wing it. Everyone saw your tits. <laughs> Big deal. They're just breasts. I still had my underwear on, so relax. I'm gonna go down and get some breakfast. You come down when you're jealous. Rage, let's you. Yes, I'd like to report a missing person. Uh, two people, actually. Uh, 24 hours. Well, it's been 32 hours already. All right, how long? Okay, uh, thanks. All right, bye. So what they say? They're gonna call back in 20 minutes. Something's happened to them. What are you doing? I'm trying to figure it out. Ryan is dead, right? The others don't get it. To them, we're the crazy ones, you know? Well, he obviously isn't. Think you faked it? You were at the funeral. It was an open casket. But they stopped throwing dirt after the first few throws, remember? They always do that. It's too traumatic for everyone to stand around watching. He was in a coma. So what if he woke up at that moment inside the coffin and wasn't actually dead and got out? It's not a doppelganger situation, okay? Why not? Because I think the funeral home would have called my parents. What if they didn't know? And why didn't he come home? Amnesia. He barely remembers me and we dated for like four years. Amnesia, I'm just as perplexed as you. This situation is overwhelming, to say the least. Yeah. I still love him. I know, but he's not Ryan. I don't know what he is, but that's not my brother. So, anything happened after we hit the sack? Kong show, let me tell you. Polished off the vodka. Did you manage to keep your clothes on at least? Yeah, right now with these guys. Yeah, they're pretty funny. Adolescent is more like it. Whatever, you loved it. Morning, Ryan. Hi, uh, anybody seen my, uh, my, my bag? Yeah, dude, it's over there. You feeling any better today? Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> you were out of it last night, man. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Thank you for taking me in. I uh, really appreciate that. It's all good. Hey, Ryan, do you mind if we ask you a somewhat personal question? If you feel compelled. Hey, Cronin. Bales, what? Enough. Everybody wants to know, don't pretend like you don't. 
The girl said uh, you were saying Cronin in your sleep last night. Who's Cronin? Yeah, and you look terrified. What was the dream about? Do you remember? We killed at Club 58, huh? Those were good times. And my favorite was the 17th century. Yeah, no doubt. Sword fighting for that much. That's what I liked about it. Remember those close battles we had? Steel, steel. We hear the fucking battle. Blade to blade. But that was intensity. In 1680, you got me good. I hated the Battle of Parthian. I was physically and mentally stronger than you. But you got the better of me that day. Yeah, how did you get out of that one? I always wondered. Well, you failed, remember? Sliced my shoulder and tried to rip my heart out. But you were too weak. You were wearing a chest plate if my only serves me correct. Whatever. You kicked me off the ravine into the river, and that current was fast. But I managed to get the shore before my blood depleted. I ate the first villager I saw, and replenished myself pretty quickly after that. You got lucky. Luck had nothing to do with it. I still won the battle. How many fights have we had in the last 700 years? Seven. How many have you won? One. Exactly. Well, I'm still here. You never finish me off. Never say never. Hey, why don't we forget about all this fight talk and have some fun, huh? You and me, one last time. What do you say? Are you challenging me? You better believe it. I thought we weren't going to do this anymore. Fight each other. This planet's only big enough for one of us. When you're gone, supremacy will be. You need the whole world, don't you? I thought we agreed to live among the humans in peace. No, that's what you and Master Ling thought we should do. You took the oath. Fuck the oath. I'm sick of fucking humans. With all their greed, racial, and religious hatred for one another, I'm fucking taking over. How? Beat them at their own game. What game is that? Politics. You're not smart enough. Say that to me again. Relax. I'm gonna shift into a senator or a world leader and tear him from the inside out. How are you gonna do that when you're too afraid to leave that precious body of yours? In case a new one isn't as good or strong. Why are you in the same body? I like this body. It's been good to me. If it ain't broke, I fix it. Trust me, it's broke. <laughs> well, you were obviously miserable. Clearly, need a change, so go for it. Tell me all about it afterward. You're going first, so you can tell me all about it afterward. In the field of the dead, any weapon you want, the loser is left to rot. Hmm. As long as it's not tonight. You're dead, but you must. Dead. Can you hear me? So did you kick his ass or what? No, he actually demolished that other body I was in. That's actually how I shifted into your brother. He's been dead like, what, eight months? About that, yeah. Eight months, 27 days, 13 hours, and 42 minutes. But who's counting? This is bullshit. Shifting, got into someone's body. You guys are actually buying into this horse shit? Shut it, James. What kind of crack you smoke, Jack? James, relax. We're listening. Be respectful. So, shape-shifting or human-shifting, that's how you became Ryan? Correct. How's that even possible? So, you're my brother because you entered his body in the field of the dead? Yes. 700 years, I've never had to shift a host. I wasn't even sure it was altogether possible. Up until this moment, it's just a bunch of pages in my scrapbook. So, do you know the person you shifted into? Like, who he is or was? Or is it a blank slate? Oh yeah, I know him all right. I was unclear which memories were his and which were mine, but I'm clear now. My master never told me that I uh, take on the memories of the host. Where's your master now? Dead. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Nobody told me shifting was this much work. The fuck? Dude's narcoleptic, man. But he just woke up. That's tired, no big deal. That's some heavy shit. Crazy shit if you ask me. Sounds like a bunch of shit to me. Who wants to light one up? I'm in. Yeah, light it up. It's obviously not shit because my brother died almost a year ago and now he's fucking lying in our living room. Will someone explain?
explain it to me. A Dominican's physical body does not exist in what you actually have thought this before. Many times. What we found in the woods was pretty messed up. Do you wish we lost the woods? But this is the plant of life. Its leaves are quite deadly than just them. You're weak, Ramos! Weak! You're dead, Ramos. If you were dead, Ramos. Dead. Brother, you guys just found him in the woods? <laughs> He's just down there by a tree. He seems pretty weird. Well, I think those girls are overreacting. If you ask me what you're doing, I'm just gonna tell you anyways. Clearly he got in a car accident or something, or tripped and bumped his head on a tree. I don't know, now he's all delusional in this shock stage or from the concussion or whatever. Yeah, tell me about it. He's always yapping about the field of the dead and death. I mean, how can a guy be dead and still be standing upright? Fuck, are we the only sane ones around here? Hey, keep it down. They can hear you, you know. Sorry, just talking trash. Well, be respectful. It's not your place to pry. Don't tell me what to do. Well, I'm gonna go barbecue some bacon. You want some? Just bacon? And toast. Yeah, whatever. I wonder where they could be. I tried their cell phones. No reception up here. They probably walked up the road and got a hotel or something, wanted some privacy. It's 25 miles. Cole's a triathlete. True. They wanted to be alone. You know what? I'm sure they're fine. Night. Go deep. Oh, hey, Sheriff. About time. Hmm? I called several hours ago. Sorry, it's a small town, and my deputy's got the day off. I'm the only one on duty. So, when was the last time you saw them? Uh, when we arrived, they went for a walk and that was it. Um, yeah, we just got distracted talking, playing games and stuff, and then they just walked into the woods to have sex or something, and it never came back. So what do they look like? Um, 5'7 and 5'1, uh, Cole's got brown hair. Yeah, Trisha has short brown hair, blue eyes, about 100 pounds, and Cole's what? Uh, Cole's about 5'8, green eyes, and a bit of a narrow jawline on him. Oh, yeah. I have pictures on my phone, actually. There. <laughs> I shouldn't be showing you that one. Can I take that? I'll get it back to you. No, that's my phone. I'm no, you, you, can, you can take it. It's cool. Station's only 20 minutes away. You won't miss it for a few hours, and no reception here anyway. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So they went into that area over there? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And you searched the area yourselves for them? Yeah, we looked everywhere. Anything happen out of the ordinary that might have made them want to run off? Well, I guess that depends on your definition of out of the ordinary, right, guys? I mean... Yeah, well, Carrie's brother did show up. <laughs> yeah. Is that not normal? No, it's normal. In the normal sense, and yeah. normal. And he arrived after we did, and they were already missing. Is he around? Well, I can wake him, but he's tired. He, he literally got here last night, and they went missing early yesterday. How about you two? Anything you can tell me? Well, we actually arrived later. We never met them before. Yeah, they were gone before we got here. Okay. Well, I'll put together a report and I'll make some calls. Uh, I'll get back to you shortly with my deputy and we'll uh, conduct an official search for them. Is there a number I can reach at? You can call my cell if you want. Uh, cell phones don't work here, no reception. Yeah, we realized that earlier. Okay, um, call the landline, 944-727-6321. Great, 
And don't worry too much about your friends. I'm sure they're fine. Those damn trees, they all look alike after a while. <laughs> it's easy to lose your sense of direction. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Sheriff. OK. I'll uh, contact you in a few hours. Sounds good. Thanks, Sheriff. OK. Yeah. Thanks, Sheriff. Thanks for coming by. Talk to you later. Let's go football time. Woo! Can you list a missing persons on a Cole Hauser? That's uh, H-A-U-S-E-R. And a Patricia Leiden. That's uh, L-E-I-D-E-N. Do a profile check. I have it on my desk within the hour. What the? of lacrys. Its leaves, although tiny, are quite deadly when ingested. To a human, it will kill instantly. To our kind, a temporary paralysis, leaving us dormant for hours, almost comatose. We would be at our most vulnerable if this were to occur, so be careful. Thank you, Master. Look, Homer. Stop. You go, Master. Will there be anything else? That is all. That's how you killed him? Master. Master Ling. You sneaky fucking prick. You put the stuff in his pipe. That's right. In about 10 minutes, you're next. I was teaching you some valuable lessons and you turned it back on him. I knew you could physically defeat him. I knew it had to be something in your hand. I'll be waiting outside. Maybe Ryan knows something, given where we found him and the weird shit he just told us? I don't think so. No way, not Ryan. My brother wouldn't hurt a flea. He's not your brother, Care. He's the walking dead or whatever the fuck. Leave him alone. He doesn't know anything. This is crazy. How can we just let him to the cabin? Like, it's no big deal. Just relax. Yelling's not going to solve anything. Oh, sorry. It's OK. I'm done. Ryan, do you remember me? I mean, 
us together? Vaguely. But you remember something? Yes. Nothing's changed. Master, I keep having these terrible nightmares. Killing and slaughtering humans. They will pass. They are deep-rooted. Have I experienced these things? They are trapped in your subconscious. Do not be afraid. Humans are not our enemies. So it is important to remain transparent in society and ignore any negative thoughts towards them. A long time ago, I was married to a human. She knew what I was and refused to be termed. I offered, but I desperately longed for even a moment of her touch once again. Can't you change that? We are not gods. We cannot change time and place. We can only live in the present. She grew old. We lived a good life together. Our love was strong enough to last two lifetimes. Master, I'm curious. What made you? I am unclear. I always wondered whether I was truly alone. limited knowledge of Dominican existence. I adapted to the human way of life, for I knew very little of any other. Over time, I realized I had special gifts. Acute hearing, stronger sensitivity to sense, extraordinary strength, and many other abilities. What made you choose me out of the millions you could have chosen? You were wandering alone when I found you, in the mountains, a gypsy in search of something. I liked your spirit. Your brother. Well, I wanted a challenge, I guess. But it was your loneliness that drew me to you. Thanks. Good to know I was unpopular. I believe you chose to be alone. What is my birth date? I turned you in 1408. The exact date of your birth, I cannot recollect. I turned Cronin six months later to fulfill your loneliness for a sibling. I would have preferred a sister. <laughs> Three queens again. You built. Man. Ryan, you shouldn't smoke so much. Has anybody seen my bag? Oh, I have three fives. Well, I hate to say it, but fortunately James wins again. And queens trump fives. Drink. Everybody drinks. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, hey Ryan. What do you do to like eat and survive and stuff? I mean, aren't vampires supposed to drink blood and shit? Well, fortunately, we don't drink shit. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Like, seriously. <laughs> if you're a vampire, does that mean you want to drink our blood? Dude, I... Well, I'm not sure of the term vampire, although humans equate that to something that lives a long time and drinks blood, which we absolutely need to do. So thank you for the reminder. I need you to fill three vials full. Oh, this is fucked up. Enough is enough. This guy is fucked. Look, I know there's some non-believers in the room, but you are not going to doubt what I'm about to show you again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Holy shit. Jesus. That was awesome. What a girl wouldn't do for instant nails like that. No doubt. This is what I become when my blood temperature rises. It's, uh, turn the heat down. That is crazy. Crazy. Awesome. <laughs> Please fill these three vials. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, new, new, new. I'm afraid of needles. I'll do it. I'll give you two. Okay. Breathe. 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 Okay. Got it. Got it. Cover, 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 okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 Then you sold yourself. Why don't you gonna congratulate me? Congratulations. You shifted a human. The first one to do it since Patrick. Master Lee never attempted it. He lied to you. He's been the same body since his birth. How would you know? He told a lot of stories. One didn't connect. I questioned him on it. He told me never to tell you. That's why I never went through with it. You weren't sure this theory was successful. How convenient. After all these years that you never told me. You proved this theory correct. Stop your fucking crying. How did you know I still alive? You left me for dead! You still smell the same. Ah, oh, I'm very funny. Master Lee never taught you that lesson. Yeah, you're the fucking stupid one who killed him before he finished teaching us. No, you're as stupid as I was told the lies. Not to mention, taste it all! You sure did! You're all mixed! You're all mixed! Oh, you got lightweight! Oh, Leave him alone! Yeah, if you got someone, you're on side, bitch! Oh, they love you, Ramos. But you cannot defeat me. Give it to me. Let me spare your life. No, I'm not trying to wait for that to save you in the. No! Yes! Unfortunately, he will be back. It was temporary. You just blinded him. Yeah, he doesn't have any eyes. Who finds a million? Back! Who calling trash? Yeah, I thought you were a big match. Yeah, well, he's thick. Linebacker thick. Will he be back? Unfortunately. Doctors haven't been able to successfully transplant eyes. There's still complications restoring any vision. Of course they have. They've performed many successful transplants. Really? You're both right. Cornea transplants are common, but the optic nerve's too complex for a whole eye. It doesn't matter. No doctor required. We're not human. Yeah, but your bodies are human, right? So aren't you limited to the functions of a human? You already covered this, Bale. The dominant cells prevail. All he needs to do is replace the eyes in the exact same position, and they will reattach themselves. It's quite easy, actually. You should all leave now. You're not safe here anymore. I'm sorry to spoil your weekend getaway, but you are all in extreme danger now. Well, it's kind of too late for that. He's made a meal out of our friends. And you'll be next. You cannot defeat him. This is absurd. I'm gonna call the police. He already came. Federal police. Is there anything that we can do to help you? Because he seems pretty determined, and if he comes and kills you, then he's gonna come after us, right? Yeah, I don't know with that power, at least what I saw of it, and that super speed thing, he'd kill like anything if he wanted. Phone's dead. Cut the line. No cell phone reception, remember? We're not in range. Dude, he could rob a bank with that speed. He 
He's been doing that for years. He's just not smart enough to think in terms of strategy, but he will cause destruction, that I can assure you. Robin, how about your cell phone? You've got stronger reception, right? No, mine's been roaming for hours. It won't connect. Well, let me try outside. No, 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 don't go outside. Are you crazy? Did you see what happened? Master? What, my son? I want to rule a country. A country that has an evil ruler that needs help. I want to command an army. I want to help make a country establish themselves. Stop talking such nonsense. We are a peaceful breed. War is not our agenda. What is our agenda? I have limited views of it. Teach me to be great, Master. Why are we here if we cannot alter existence? You have many years ahead of you. Be patient, and these questions will answer themselves. Changing the course of human evolution is unacceptable, do you understand? That is the very last time I will ever tell you that again. I am sorry, Master. If the humans knew our kind existed, they would never stop hunting us. We would never be at peace. They can't beat us. We're too strong. They have many, and we are three. We can kill them in short bursts, 10, 20 at a time if that. But we would tire, and they would eventually defeat us into extinction. Teach me to turn humans. I will make you proud. I will build an unstoppable army. I will make Enough. you go. Let's get back to your training. As you wish, Master. So, he wants to take over a country? Then what? The world? Now don't worry, he's not smart enough to follow through with it. <laughs> That's uh, good to know. Fortunately for the human race, I've occupied all his efforts for many years. All he thinks about is killing me. It's the thrill of the hunt for him. He's tried several times and once again he's unsuccessful. But he'll never stop trying until he succeeds. And with me gone, he will eventually think of these things. Out of boredom, I'm sure. Well, we gotta stop him before he blows up the planet or something. Yeah. <laughs> Easier said than done. Yeah, but there has to be a way, right? Yeah, can't we help you kill him? Not as humans, he crush you like ants. What if we all attacked him at once? Yeah. Yeah, like we all grab a hold of him while you cut his head off or whatever you do. His strength is too much for you. Even if you all attacked him at once, he'd kill you one by one, snapping your necks and draining your blood supply in mere minutes. Not to mention, he is a lethal, lethal fighter. That sucks. Yeah. We're fucked. What if you changed me? Is that possible? I mean... I've never met a real vampire, Dominican, or whatever you are before. But if you made me what you are, would I gain the strength and skill that you have now? What are you talking about, Michelle? This is absolutely- Shut it, Robin, I'm speaking. Is it possible? Does that option exist? I mean, you were just talking about it, right? Yes, but it takes 36 hours to turn a human, and it's not easy. It involves constant monitoring. You're sick for days, you can even die. And to be honest with you, I'm not really very good at it. Like the last three people I tried to change, I don't know, two died. I fucked up the blood transfer or something. I think I gave him too much or I didn't give him enough. I don't, I don't know really. Well, two died, why haven't I fixed one? Probably killed her. I left the house for like 20 minutes to go get some supplies and while I was gone he found me like he always does. It's like a shark, you can smell blood from five miles away. You know the rules, no turning humans. She tasted good though. He likes to toy with me. Master Ling would not teach him how to turn for fear he'd build an army and kill the humans. So in his frustration he kills everything I turn. So I stopped turning altogether. I'd get attached to a human and then they'd be gone. But you were successful, right? You changed her without killing her. Michelle, what are you saying? I'm willing to do it. To risk it. What? Michelle, come on, let's like whoa, think whoa, about whoa, this whoa. right now. Let's not lose our heads here. No pun intended. Okay. I want to be like you, be with you. I want to help. You said it yourself, we can't defeat him as humans, so change me and let's defeat him together before he destroys humanity. You don't have to worry about that. Humanity will destroy itself. Well, change me too. I, I got no ties to anything. I'm free to do what I want. Nigel, you know what you're saying. Yeah, Kara, I know what I'm saying. Knowing there's something on this planet that is that powerful, now that I know it exists, it makes me feel helpless. I just want it dead. You're more attracted to the power. Well, yeah, sure, that's a benefit. You could dominate in football again with that kind of speed. You know, obviously I'd downplay it a little bit, make it a little less fast, but 
fast enough to run the ball in the end zone every time. You know it. Yeah. yeah, sure, no one will ever notice anything weird about that. I need a smoke. I got one, I'll, I'll join you. do it. Make me like you. I won't ever turn on you. And I'll keep the humanity card in check. I don't know, no, it's just a weird way to exist. What, not die? Or at least by conventional means? Never get old, never have to buy groceries. I mean, drinking blood, that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to, but I used to suck my own blood when I was a kid. It tasted all right. It's different. Do you think you can constantly live with the killing gene? It must be control. Teach us. We'll learn. We'll listen. I can't teach you in time. They'll be back very soon. I give them a few hours to find new eyes, maybe another 24 hours for them to reattach themselves. We got about three, four days max if we're lucky. We'll do it now. I'm ready. Yeah, me too. Do it. Yeah. Just do it. Don't elevate her head, she needs to lay flat for now. Okay, then what? Then we need to hang her upside down so the blood can change direction. Then after the first injection, we need to stand her up so even distribution happens throughout her body. Okay, so when do we do that? I'm next. Nigel, we don't know if this is gonna work, okay? If she dies, it'll be on your head. Hey, we have 36 hours to turn, and with the three of us, we have better odds of killing that psycho. Oh, I'm staying human. I agree, I like being human. Oh, I am definitely in. Me three. Hell, I'll even do it. Not if you're staying with me or not. Relax, I can't change all of you. That would deplete me. I can change two others. Shotgun, I got shotgun. Shotgun, I'm second, I'm second, I'm second. Shotgun, I'm second. Shotgun. 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 Jesus, I don't even know if this will work. Exactly. We have to save the world from this monster? Yeah, don't worry. The world's beyond saving, believe me. All right, Nigel. You're next. We'll decide on the other one later. Cool. Are you here good? You can't be serious. Oh, has cancer. Because rhythm is a dancer. You guys are crazy. Now you're absolutely sure you want to do this, right? Without a doubt. You are strong, my son, but you are too slow. My speed is much greater than yours. Teach me, master. I want to be faster. First, I must teach you to become a good hunter. I want you to move around the garden and smell all the different scents.
What have you learned? My senses were heightened with every scent I encountered. Now I want you to go out and select a plant you wish to smell from far away, and see if you can block out all the other scents. What was the result of this exercise? I can smell any plant I wished without moving, excluding all other scents, to focus on that one alone. And how did you achieve this? By remembering the scent so acutely that I could follow the scent of the correct flower every time. Excellent. It is no different when hunting your prey. Once you have it sent to memory, you should be able to smell it at a superior distance, using even the wind to assist you with accuracy. That is all for today. Thank you, Master. I changed my mind. Can I be next? I don't know, care. It gets boring really fast. I don't care about that. Just knowing something like Cronin exists, I want to stop it. I can't go back until he's dead. I'll kill Cronin, I don't know how yet, but... I'm sorry about your friends. If I hadn't come, they'd probably all still be alive. I feel bad about it. They all seem nice. It's not your fault. Ryan led you here, and probably for a good reason. Yes. So, turn me. I should be the third. Look, I'm your sister. I'm not your sister per se, but I'm the sister of the man you're living in, and if you're going to exist in his body wandering the earth, then I want to join him, or you. Let me think about it for a few minutes. You sound. Don't brag on me. Do you know how strong we could be? I would turn you as soon as Ryan taught me how. This could be really good for our relationship. Did it ever occur to you that I don't even know what it is that they're talking about half the time? I don't even know if I believe any of this nonsense. You saw him turn with your own eyes. I saw it, but I don't want to lose you to that. Oh, you won't. You won't. I love you so much, babe. I always have. Then let's just go. It's getting too dangerous. We will. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Second stage begins. They'll awaken. Then we have to inject them with my blood so they can enter the second stage. If they're standing upright, they'll pass out immediately, so make sure you can lay them flat. It's just an adrenaline rush that causes it. So then what, they're vampires? Dominicans is what we call them in your English translation. Dominican? It's just a race name, like Asian, Hispanic. Dominical versus Colavian Monostra is the proper pronunciation. That's pretty cool. All the myths you've heard about us, mostly bullshit. We need sleep, especially if we hope to regenerate. Daylight's an issue, but it doesn't cause immediate death. We don't burn up or anything like the myths have stated. That always made me laugh. We have retinal and pupil deficiencies, so if bright light blasts into our eyes, it magnifies it about a hundred times what a human would experience. It's uh, quite annoying and weirdly painful, actually. Have you ever tried to drive with your pupils fully expanded? Yeah. Fucking sucks. It's like kryptonite to us. 
So that's when we should take him? Oh, we won't strike this many in daylight. Be smart enough for that. That's shitty. Anyway, I'm getting tired. Keep an eye on them for me. If they awaken, check them with some of this. Long as they up. If any of them move, you will step with this. Hey, me too, I'm yeah. And he's out. Just like that? Told you he was narcoleptic, man. That you did. Let's go. You got horseshoes up your ass, man. Yes. Uh, you shuffled yes. asshole. Oh shit, I did too. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Might be done. Uh, grab the syringe, would you? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Easy, nice. <laughs> nice. Dude, this game sucks. Let's play something else. Yeah, like I'll say. You wanna play a new game? Yes, yes, do it. I just, I just learned it yesterday. No. Yeah. Yesterday? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Deal it up, deal it up. One, two, three. Oh! I win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> she looks pretty good out naked, huh? Oh, yeah. She's pretty hot. Look at that tattoo. The zebra print. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Let's get this wrench. On it, on it. Easy, Michelle. What's she doing? Isn't it, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dude, you just stuck that in her ass. <laughs> you know, women, they hit visual scarring. Strong work, man. Nice! Now get her off of me. I don't know about you guys, but this is weirding me out. Really? Yeah. I think it's so cool. Me too. Beats playing Halo. Yeah, dude, like way more live action, oh, yeah. huh? But exhausting, though. I could use a coffee. Do this. Such a good call. I'll brew it. Nice. If she moves, start with this. Stage two. We're just waiting on Carrie now. Great. I'll be right out. Can I ask you something, Ryan? Sure. What are the odds of killing this guy? Slim. Very slim. My name is Ramos, that's what he'll call me if he says my name in your presence. So your memory has returned? Fully. I've completed the shift, thankfully, no more headaches. And I'm still unclear on something. Why did your master teach you how to turn, and not him? He trained us in different stages, I'm not sure really. A Dominican's physical body does not exist once you have shifted into the host. It is our energy that nests in the body of the human, nothing else. Have you actually performed this before, Master Ling? Many times. Now listen carefully, this next part is important. The heart can burst during this procedure, so you must temporarily increase blood flow away from it by pinching it. Otherwise, it may expand rapidly and the host will suffer immediate heart failure. Got it. Now if the host is dead and it died for any reason except heart failure, you do not need to pinch the heart. Just enter the body, and your presence alone will bring it back to a living state. But the heart must be in good functioning order for you to use the host as a portal. That is why you must never take on a dead host. Do you understand? Yes. Is that why we thirst for blood? For additional nutrients for the heart? You are a good pupil. Yes, we consistently need new blood cells. The old ones can die over time. So in order to live for hundreds, even thousands of years, we must take in new blood to revitalize the host and keep it alive. So, because nothing grows in us, we must ingest to maintain. Correct. 
Why can't we just shift every 80 years and not drink blood at all? Unfortunately, our cells need constant supplementation to regenerate effectively. Fresh blood is the only way. You may go for days without it, if you must, but your host will tell you when it needs to feed, sometimes without much warning. Master, am I up yet? In a moment. Just finishing with Ramos. I will be in the training room. I will see you there in a moment. I will teach you how to turn humans tomorrow. Thank you, Master. That's cool. Scientifically unbelievable, but very cool. Yeah, we'd keep the scientists in traction for years trying to figure us out. How longer? So, what if Cronin kills the others before you can show them how to be Dominican? That's the risk that we face until we have that time together. But they'll have superior strength in comparison to a human. That's all we'll need right now. Ryan? It's been 16 hours and Carrie's the only one who hasn't entered second stage yet. Really depends on the human on how fast the second stage begins. Will she die? She shouldn't. I'll come up and check in a minute. Okay. Nigel's eyes is open. Oh, great. He just entered the final stage. Well, what, what happens in that stage? Oh, not much. His just body's busy mixing cells. You can't really move. But if he does move, tie him down with a rope or something. Just make sure his body's slightly elevated. Oof. There she goes. OK, OK. Uh, Michelle's just entered the final stage. That's good. So her and Nigel are going to be out two or three hours, carry about 10 to 12 hours. Remind me to extract a few pints of her blood in uh, a couple hours. Why? Where are you going? Nowhere. I just, uh, I'm extracting blood and not replacing it. It depletes me quickly. Oh, you can have some of mine. We're gonna need you fully alert if we're gonna stand a chance. Yeah, you can definitely have some of uh, Terry, too. What? You guys are very sweet. And I'm not one to turn down a good meal. Grab the syringe and extract the pint of Nigel's blood. So is the verdict in? Are they vampires? Almost. Mm. Oh, negative. Tasty. That would be me. Honestly, you didn't have to. I can survive off less. Yeah, I'm sure, but we need you at your strongest if we hope to win this fight, right? That would be wise. I'm sorry about James and Clea. Mm, it's not your fault. I feel like it is. You need to stay focused. He'll be back soon. Okay, so we filled up as much as we could collectively. Oh. Careful, that one's gonna fall out. You guys are sweet. I want you to win. Me too. Lock all the windows and doors. We stay inside from now on. That's because he can only come in if he's invited, right? No, dude, I already thought about that. But the first time he came in, he was not invited. Fuck. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's just so we can hear him if he enters. When they awaken, will they know what they are? Of course. They haven't taken on any new form. They'll be exactly how you know them as. And when their blood gets warm, they will turn full form Dominican. But won't they be hungry and want our blood, though? That's what those are for. Give them each one of these, and then let them starve until Cronin arrives. 
They'll be much more effective if they're hungry. And hopefully Cronin fills them after that. Clever. I'll get, the doors. I'll get upstairs. sweltering in here. How do you feel? Amazing. So do you guys remember what happened to you? Yeah, Ryan turns into Dominicans. Perfect timing, actually. Battle should begin soon. So we should probably get some clothes on you. I'm cool. I'm fine. Uh, no, you're not. You're not cool. What? Get upstairs. Look good. So you don't forget what you mean as a human? No, it becomes a better skill, actually. More than quadruples with that ability. That's cool, because now I just can scrap. Yeah, and Michelle can do his makeup. <laughs> the only skill I think she has is fashion. Doesn't matter. Three's better than one. I can handle most of the battle. We just need that extra element of surprise when he sees they've been turned. It'll send him into a frenzy. What about Carrie? She'll awaken when she awakens. We may not even need her. All right, so let's prepare. We need anything that will ignite a flame and anything to decapitate him. Okay. I'll get the Sambuca and anything else that'll burn. All right, I'll check in the garage. Sounds good. See him in over an hour. Shit, no way.
enough to learn to be proud. Somehow Masculine knew that lack of knowledge would lead to your eventual demise. Almost like a built-in fail-safe device, I guess. Unfortunately, it was his lack of teaching that led to his demise. Poor little Ramos lost his master. His eternal life headed for disaster. You're weak, Ramos! Weak! No! It's over! If I go, you're coming with me! Nice hit, Bales. Thanks. Good fight, guys. Bailey and Robin get back in the house before he tries to shift in you. Let's bury the body in the woods. I want it. Time to go. Carrie. So soon? You guys are just sleeping? The Dominicans now, bud. We'll be back. Bye, See you, babe. Bills. Bye, sweetie. Bye. See you on the flip side. Sorry about your friends and family. If I could reverse it, I would. But no, they died with dignity and courage. Thank you for that. Where you guys go? I don't know. Get me with you. Sorry, bud. You're in danger if you travel with us. I don't care. Then turn me. Sorry. I got my hands full. Take care. Dead. The others are Dominican vampires. What am I gonna do now? Well, we can always go inside and have sex. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you want it. Sure. I mean, if you want it. I mean. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't want to force you. No, I don't. You know. Thirty-five. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Where to, right? Let's take a little vacation, shall we? That sounds awesome. Let's go somewhere cold. It's way too hot here. I know just the spot. 